Welcome back to halftime at the Reynolds Center. The Golden Hurricane on top of the Roadrunners of UTSA 53 to 48. And we are joined by University of Tulsa Volleyball All-American Kaylee Cassidy here at the Reynolds Center. Does it does it seem like the season's over with? It comes and goes before you know it, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it goes by so fast. Even just playing for five years, like I still feel like I'm a freshman at heart, and then all of a sudden it's over. <laughs> but um, thankfully, this isn't my last chapter. Um, I'm actually trying to play pro volleyball, um, so I'm working on getting an agent, looking to go play in Europe somewhere. So I'm super excited. You know, you led the country in kills and kills per set this year. The culmination, though, of a great career. What what led to having such a good final All-American season? Um, just working hard, and I think we had a really great group of girls this year. And then having Coach Ram at the at the helm, she really helped guide us to be really great volleyball players this season. Um, I, I'm so grateful to my previous coaching staff for getting me here, but I think Coach Lauren brought us to another level of volleyball. Um, not just me, but all my teammates. And having that higher level of play just allowed me to excel because all my teammates were excelling too. Would you expound upon that? The, the culture and Coach Ramatowski coming in and not completely overhauling things, but making the culture fit what, what this program needs to be. Describe how she did that. So she really emphasized on being good volleyball players. So we had had a pretty good culture set already. Um, me, Avery Kalsu, and Reagan Pendleton, just being experienced players, had understood what we needed to do, how to lead this team. But she came in and she was like, you guys are going to be really good at volleyball. And that was the first thing we focused on last spring. Um, and even my teammates were like, oh my gosh, we love the game again. We're getting so much better in just a couple of months being under her than we have, you know, in a year or two. So that was the biggest thing is she just wants us to be really good at all aspects of the game. So we'll actually play. Um, we do this drill called doubles at the beginning of every practice. Some of us hate it. Some of us love it. But um, basically it's so that we all get to pass. We all have to set. We all have to serve playing outside of our position and being an overall well-rounded volleyball player. Get an idea what it's like to walk in somebody else's shoes a little bit? Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I mean, we have middle blockers diving on the floor, um, people that don't normally serve, they have to serve or set or block. So it's just, it's really fun and it makes us good volleyball players. Now you're a mechanical engineering graduate and an All-American academically as well. Last year, I think I have my, my timeline right, last year, you and your group were able to come up with a project for NASA. NASA comes up with problems. We've got these problems. We want you to solve it. And you and your group here did so well with it, you were asked to present your project to NASA. What was that like? Yes. Oh, it was so awesome. So this is actually our senior capstone project. Um, all engineers have to do it their senior year. And uh, me and my group were fortunate enough to participate in their Micro-G Next Challenge. Um, so basically we built our mat design. It's this uh, magnetic attachment tool that is dust resistant. So there's really bad dust on the moon. You wouldn't really think of that as a problem, but it was actually one of the number one things that astronauts from the Apollo missions described as, you know, what's keeping us from going there again. Um, so we got to work on that attachment tool, thought of a pretty unique design, and NASA liked it, and we were invited down to the Neutral Buoyancy Lab in Houston to test it. It was just so awesome. Like, even, you know, some of these bigger schools, they're able to send clubs or groups there to go, and I wish we had that opportunity because it was so much fun and just so eye-opening to see it. And then we got to see, like, Mission Control. We got to sit in there while they were talking to the ISS. It was just so cool. Like, all the nerds in us were like, oh, my gosh, we <laughs> love this so much. It was just super awesome. Were you nervous? Um, a little bit. I got to sit next to my teammate Kirsten Erickson as we led the test. So there was a diver under in the pool, um, which simulates the gravity on the moon, and that's where they tested it. And so I got to sit there with her, and we gave directions. And it was a little nerve-wracking, but we did a great job. Is there a chance that this project and, and this invention that you came up with actually goes into outer space? Um, potentially, maybe. Fantastic. They now own the rights to that, so uh -huh. they can do what they want with it. Um, we probably should have tried to patent it, but <laughs> it's okay. Well, there's still time for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got a lot of inventing in your future and a lot of volleyball in your future as well, yes. right? Oh, yeah. Um, I sure hope so, at least. Well, what a great career that you had here, not just on the volleyball court, but in the classroom at the University of Tulsa. A well-rounded degree in education that you get here, and it's been fun to watch mm -hmm. you, Kaylee. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. I just, I love this school. I just want to say thank you to everyone, all my professors, um, my peers, my coaches, my teammates, the students here. Everyone has been awesome. And just thank you. I love the school with all my heart. Uh, well said. Kaylee Cassidy, Volleyball All-American, Academic All-American at the University of Tulsa. We appreciate her stopping by. And we'll have a look at your first half stats when we come back to the Reynolds Center. Golden Hurricane up by five at the break.